Chandler, I know it's not fun losing to the teammate like that. I know it's happened earlier this season, but what can you break us down with after that one? Uh, definitely shows championship caliber team. Uh, 23 didn't run out of talent there in stage two or whenever when he junked us. Uh, we would have probably lapped half the field. We were extremely, extremely good. Wicked fast, wicked good. Um, they didn't have anything for us today, just straight up. They really didn't. Uh, our tires probably have four times more wear than everybody else in the field. And still ended up third. Probably should have won the race, honestly, too. But the 51 ran me all the way into the fence. Didn't feel like being that guy and shipping him, but honestly, it's getting I'm getting really tired of it. But it is what it is. Really happy with everybody. KVM gave me a really fast safe flight charge in Tundra. What's confidence of running so fast still today? What does that what's that do to your confidence to move forward? We should be running this good every weekend, so I mean it doesn't do anything. Christian, I know you did everything you needed to there at the end. Felt like you probably had it won there, but unfortunately overtime's the way it happens in NASCAR. What could you have done any different there? Yeah, I mean felt like I got a good restart. <laughs> and then uh, spun him a little bit, but yeah. 19 push me too hard and got my rear wheels up in the air and didn't go nowhere. So it's what it is. We didn't restart well all day, but we had a really fast uh, trip record for the Tundra. And it's the only positive for the day, I guess. Well, moving forward to Sonoma, how do you kind of move past something like this and then go and like, run fast there? Just how, how, how do you kind of mentality wise go into it? In the same way we've, we've gotten heartbroken the past four weeks. Uh, on bringing fast trucks and put ourselves in position. It's just stupid shit in here. So shout out to a friend of the channel, Raja Karu. If you got a top 10 in your first truck start, what, what you did spin out one point, but what how, what led you to rally back from that and finish where you did? Just the quality of this equipment. You know, this Fire Motorsports truck was, was awesome today. Can't say enough about our partners for helping me get in this position to do four of these, specifically Polarity Worldwide Tech, um, Wine Forge, and the Stewart family. Uh, you know, the truck was great, and really I was just catching up to it, to be honest. Um, especially being my, my first lapse period, um, we, I would say that's a pretty solid day. Um, definitely have some stuff I need to work on, but the 10th I don't think is terrible. Um, it's, honestly, it's what coulda, shoulda, woulda. Gotcha. Well, uh, what'd you learn then? Because you're saying you're catching up, but it seemed like you caught up pretty quick. So. Yeah, just the catching up was really in traffic. Fundamentally, it's not too different, but I'll just really playing catch up. It's racing, how intense the racing is, and how the importance of track is. So, now I know track time. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.